Hi. I am your friendly, base safety officer. First of all, congratulations to you, for being selected to work at Lab 1 Air Base. I welcome your presence, and hope, this briefing will help you a lot in matters related to safety, inside and outside the base. In accordance with the tagline, safety is everybody's responsibility. So, please take the time to understand the content of this briefing. Hopefully, it will be useful as a guidance during your time here. For your information, Base Safety Committee All matters relating to the safety aspects in the base, are the responsibility of the Base Safety Officer, BSO, and act as an advisor to the Base Commander. All Unit Safety Officers, USO, act as advisors to the Commanding Officers. Generally, the USO, or addressed as SSO for squadrons, is an assistant to the BSO. The Base Safety Division is divided into the following sections which is safety management, flight safety, and occupational safety and health. Orders, directives, and instruction. You are required to read and understand all the safety instructions issued by the top management and Labuan Air Base. If you have any concerns, you can refer to the USO for a more detailed explanation. Reporting procedures. If you have matters to report to a specific party, you shall follow the required format or procedure. Please refer to PU 9104, Part 5 and Part 6 to refer to the safety risk management system and to report such things as special occurrence report, hazard report, bird strike and so on. You shall contact the USO or BSO for advice if you are unaware or hesitate to report an incident or an accident. Prohibited and dangerous area. There are several prohibited and dangerous areas within the Labuan Air Base, and it is your responsibility to keep yourself away of these area. Among the areas are as follows. Base Ammunition Terminal 3, TP Tiga. Lake and the Bulk Fuel Installation, BFI. Liquid Oxygen Store and runway, taxiway and dispersal. Fire safety. Fire safety lectures and fire extinguishers inspections will be conducted by Chawang Bamba, according to the schedule. Your unit will also administer the fire training and assisted by Chawang Bamba personnel to improve action skills in the event of fire and the handling of fire extinguishers. You are required to participate in each exercises and help to make the training a success. Workplace safety. You are required to comply with the regulations on the use of personal protective equipment, PPE, in dangerous places as well, in compliance with all applicable safety instructions and measures. The use of safety equipment is essential to prevent accidental accidents. Road safety. Road safety is your responsibility. Every motorized vehicle driver must have a valid driver's license and a valid road tax when driving outside and inside the base. You must also comply with existing driving rules and regulations. Road safety awareness will be constantly enhanced through lectures and briefings by the Traffic Police and the Malaysian Road Safety Council. It is worth noting that the maximum speed at base is to be 40 km per hour in normal roads and 25 km per hour in high-risk areas, as well as the airfield. Although, to drive on the airfield, you need to obtain special document which is the airfield driving permit. Hunt Dog will conduct a random inspection to ensure that the driving rules in the base are complied. You are advised to adhere to the rules all the time. Recreational and Sport Safety 
you are advised to get enough rest, and exercise regularly to ensure good health. Your attitude, and awareness, play an important role in avoiding unhealthy, dangerous, and negative elements that can lead to many health problems. You are also advised to keep yourself away from drug abuse. The base will conduct urine tests at any time without notice. Disciplinary action, will be enforced to you if you are found to be involved with any of the above elements. Base Safety Program The purpose of this program is to coordinate, and manage all planned monthly and annual safety activities. Contribution from you is highly encouraged, to make these programs succeed. Safety Publicity Safety posters and articles contest, safety corners, and base safety week were held to further enhance the safety awareness for all base personnel. If you have a contribution that should be shared, please contact the base safety officer, BSO, through the USO. Medical and first aid. If you encounter a health problem, it should be referred to the base medical officer. Self-medication by taking prescription of drugs not from a medical officer, is dangerous and considered wrongly. As part of the base safety cell, the RESAT, or RUMA socket on Cotton Tent Hura, will conduct medical lectures and first aid training whenever necessary, to raise awareness of the health benefits. Safety Training, or Pre-Accident Plan PAP. Aircraft emergency exercises, or pre-accident plans such as on-base PAP, and off-base PAP, will be conducted according to schedule. If you are involved in the training, you must be committed and fully cooperate with the training. Finally, before we end this session, it is the Base Safety Committee's intention, to provide an effective safety briefing, to assist you and other personnel in understanding all aspects of safety while on duty at the Labuan Air Base. If you have any questions or concerns, you can contact the unit safety officer, and the committees. Welcome to Labuan Air Base, and happy working. That's all, thank you.